Now that you know how to use and store your probe, I'm gonna teach you the most cost-effective way to make your own KCL solution for storing your pH meters. The ingredients are just water and KCL powder, and a link to the powder is in the description. You first need to know what concentrate you want your solution to be, and a list of all manufacturer recommended concentrations are listed in the description. There's also a download link to a generator if you don't feel like doing all this math. In this video, I'll be making an eight ounce solution of a 3M concentration. So I'm just gonna go to my generator and input some fields. Notice that it says, enter the amount in milliliters. This means that I need to convert my ounces into milliliters. So on the right, there's this handy dandy converter. I just overwrite the box with an eight for eight ounces and voila, it spits out the milliliter equivalent. Now I just take this figure and plug it in on the left and it will calculate all of the amounts of KCL powder I need for different concentrations. Since I'm making a 3M solution, I'll need 52.91 grams of KCL. Now I'll just have to measure this amount using a digital scale and mix it in with eight ounces of reverse osmosis water. Just mix it in until it completely dissolves and that's all. Again, a link to the powder and the generator is in the description and with this solution, you'll definitely extend the life of your pH meter. To watch a video on the proper way to use and store a pH meter, click the link on the top right. For more tips and tricks on how to grow weed, check out our other videos.